Stan Gibalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV. Whiskey One, good vibrations. Suppose for a moment that you lived in a wide open rural place like a ranch in Wyoming and or South Dakota, someplace without a lot of urban noise, either of the audible type or the radio frequency type, neighbors that were far away from you, relatively speaking, and didn't care what kind of antenna you put up as long as it didn't fall on them. What kind of antenna farm would you have if money didn't pose any restriction at all? Now, this is a little more complicated question than it might at first appear to be because it's going to depend on what your favorite operating frequencies and modes are. If you primarily do uh, two meter FM repeater operation, for example, your antenna farm, the, your ideal antenna farm is going to look different than it would if your favorite mode is say 160 meters uh, doing DX or if you have several different bands that you like to use, say you like you like you particularly like one of the new ham radio bands, I believe it's uh, 1750 meters or something like that, uh, uh, one of the very low lowest frequency bands, and you also like to do moon bounce on 144 megahertz. Uh, widely diverse modes. What if it's satellite operation? What kind of antenna farm would you would you have then? Uh, if money didn't matter, you could put it. You could make it as big as you wanted within reason. You know, if you make it too big, it's going to collapse under its own weight, or a windstorm is going to make a wreck out of it, or an ice storm like we might have here in the black holes of Dakota Territory uh, tomorrow evening. <laughs> Unlikely, but possible. You know, there's still almost six weeks of winter left here in the holes. It's only late April. That would be different than the kind of antenna farm you might have in a place like, say, oh, South Florida, or the Everglades, say, where the, the main consideration would be lightning and the possibility of high winds, hurricanes, things like that and the available ground would be different. But in your location with your restrictions in QTH, um, just make one assumption that you were in an unlimited, your space was unlimited and your funds were unlimited. Make those assumptions and then tell our viewers and me, because I'm curious, what would your antenna farm look like? Comments are open. Stan Gibalisco, W1GV, saying 73, which means best regards. And so long, which, on my favorite mode, CW, and on my favorite band, 160 meters, would translate to da-da-da-da-da. -da 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 -da.